Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Shubham Pramanik from motionbreaks.com and in today's burger promo video, we are going to make something cool using text animations and styles. I hope you are gonna learn something new from this video and it will be helpful for your own creative journey as well. So with that said, now let's begin. <laughs> All right, so at first I'll just drag and drop our main video and I'll press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and H to set it properly within our frame. And now I'll just select the text tool and I'll type in burger. Just make it caps and position it in the center. Now just make sure that the anchor point is set in the bottom center okay and now what i'll do i'll go to the text and animate there i'll add position and i'll add one more property that is opacity now make the position little bit downwards just like that and make the opacity zero okay and go to the range selector make the offset value and go to around one second make it 100 okay so it will look like this perfect now select these two keyframes and easy is those and it will animate like this nice and at this position i'll just crop these two layers so i'll press alt and right square bracket for cropping and there i'm gonna duplicate this text layer by pressing ctrl d and now just extend it over here and crop it from there okay i'm gonna type in one more text and that is again burger and this time make sure that you choose a good quality font i'll choose uh, tusker grotesque and just increase the size to around 400 or maybe 800 and position it in the center just like that i'll just select this layer right click and go to create and create shapes from the text and you can just hide this layer by pressing f4 and selecting this layer and just hide it okay we have to go to the contents and there you can see that we have all of the layers and just select all of them and press ctrl f and type in path okay now what you have to do you have to set a keyframe for all of the path and now just set a keyframe for all of these paths okay so here you can see that we have the keyframes for all of the path okay now we have to do the same thing for this as well so i'll just select this layer i'll create a new shape layer and then i'll just hide it okay and there i'm gonna type in again path and now create a keyframe for all of the path as well one by one fine now after that what we need to do we have to paste these keyframes one by one over here so i'll just go 10 frames forward and i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key for going 10 frames forward and there i'm gonna select this and press ctrl v to paste these keyframes okay now i'm gonna select this one ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste ctrl c to copy and do the same thing for rest of this okay all right now let me close them up by pressing u see how it is looking it is looking a little bit jittery but don't worry we are gonna fix all of that so i'll press u to reveal the keyframe i'll select these keyframes and set the value to 75 okay now let's see much better now at this point of time i want to do one more thing so i'll select this layer and I'm gonna press alt shift p and s to set a keyframe on the position and scale property as well i'll just drag them a few frames backward and i'll go to over here and i'll just drag the position of it to the bottom and set the scaling to 120 okay now let's see now select all of these keyframes and easy ease those as well now let's see now one thing I need to do and let me do that quickly for you. So we have to select these uh, keyframes and let's do the offsetting. Okay, so it will look like this. Cool, right? Now one thing we need to do and let's fix this one now and let's see. 
amazing now the base thing is ready for our animation and now just delete this layer you can do that no problem and now select ctrl a to select all of the layers press u to close them up so i'll just drag this layer i'll go to over here i'll press ctrl shift and d to crop this video layer and i'll place it over here okay and now at this point of time i'll go to the rectangle tool i'll double click on that and it will create a shape layer and now just drag this layer below our burger layer okay now solo this layer and let's add an animation so i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position drag this one over here and just change the position of it to upwards just like that okay fine now select these two keyframes and easy is those as well so it will animate like this and at this position of time i'm gonna select the burger video and let's change the track mat of it to alpha mat so it will look like this and here you can see pretty cool right now let's ramp preview it and let's see how i've built it so far nice one more thing we have to do just drag these two layer a few frames forward just like this so it will look like this and uh, one more thing we need to do just crop this layer a little bit and let's see at this position i think it will look good just one more frame yeah now see one more and let's see yeah it is looking nice I think we can drag this one a little bit forward just like this so it will animate like this pretty pretty cool and let's just add our last effect that is turbulent displays I'm gonna set the keyframe on amount and I'll press U to reveal the keyframe I'll go around here and I'll make this one zero fine and there looking cool and at this position i'm gonna add an expression in the evolution so i'll type in time asterisk 200 now just ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking yep pretty cool right and if you want you can increase the size of it as well so I'll just make it uh 130 maybe 135 and just change the position little now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking yep looking very cool right so i hope you have learned something new today if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel i'm gonna come up a lot of new ideas in this season so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye